coming inside. Good morning, apprentices. Good morning. We are here for the third task of Insurance Apprentice 2016. I uh, would like uh, to introduce you uh, to um, our judge for today, our uh, sponsor for today, which is Sazria on my right hand side, um, Tokazili in Chukra on my left hand side, uh, Voyo Lee, my permanent panel member. Welcome, Voyo. Thank you, Theo. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I think yesterday was a tough day for, for everybody, but the good news is you've made it, so well done, you are the top six. So all I want to say to you is don't let yesterday's uh, exercise negatively affect how you're doing today. You'd rather use the lessons to really impress. And this is your moment to shine now, so use it every day, not just on the last day. To Brazil, you yet to tell the apprentices what's expected of him? We would like you guys to develop a product. Um, that's aimed for puzzle shops owners and um, particularly puzzle shops in townships, informal uh, and formal. The product must be feasible, must be practical, it must meet the needs of, of the um, target audience that, that you're talking about. Um, you must start from what your premium will be, how you distribute it, what money will you make out of it, what capital will you need, basically all operational elements of taking a product to the market. The feasibility is very, very important and uh, it must not be a hairy fairy product, it must be real. It must be a product that if you were a spider shop owner, you would buy it. Mm. So um, you also need to have a marketing approach on how you're going to roll it out into the market or launch it into the market. The teams for today will be Unati, Selena and Carabo. And on the other team we have Chris. Andre and Alicia. We've got 15 minute presentation time and remember the first part of it we would like you to uh, present us with an executive overview of what uh, your presentation will be about. That will be five minutes. Good luck and we we'll see you in a while. I think the team dynamic is good. We work well together and, and we've, we've come up with some positive and innovative ideas. There's a great understanding within the team at the moment that the most important thing for us to do right now is win the task at hand. In this competition, it's, it, it becomes a very, a very difficult um, task to balance, to balance whether, whether you're putting the team before yourself or whether, whether, you need, whether you need to put yourself ahead of the team. It is in an individual competition. There can only be one apprentice. But I, I still believe, and, and at this stage, I, I don't think I've been proven wrong, that we, at this stage we need to look at the team being victorious. And by the team being victorious and, and being a team player and shining within your own rights within the team, you, you then shine as an individual. And, and I've got to believe that, that, that those attributes are noticed by the judges. In my opinion, my, my greatest competitors in the competition at the moment, as, as, I, as I see it, is probably Chris and possibly Unati. I think the ladies are are, are strong as well in their in their own rights, but I, I don't I don't feel too threatened by the ladies. What gives me the edge to win this competition and, and it's it's very much a, a subject of test is that I believe that I want it the most. You know, looking and comparing myself to the other to the other competitors, I think we're all here to, to do well and do our best and, and become the next apprentice, but I want it more than everyone else, and that is why I believe that I'm going to go out and get it. My team dynamic today is one where we are both confident, Chris and I having two wins under our belt. Andre is extremely good at what he does as well. I think the three of us are a winning combination. People who would be my direct competition would be Karabo and Andre. I'm always asked is who takes the lead in the team and do you shine out better than the rest? Um, Nelson Mandela quoted, lead from the back and let others believe that they are in front. Maybe you would 
insinuate that it's a strategic or illusion that I'm giving off, you can conclude your own. But I believe there's transactional managers and transformational manager, uh, or leaders rather. I believe that I'm a transformational leader. I wouldn't preferably be bossy or overpowering, but the ideas and my presentations and how I would gather the team together would be, would, would, without giving too much away, would be how I would lead from the back. Um, I am doing a double major in industrial psych and communication science. I haven't yet qualified. I am in the second year. But it does put me in as an advantage as opposed to all the other competitors. Um, analyzing them, if you can call it psychoanalyzing them, I have done and narrowed it down. And I know who to play to my advantage. The illusion that the ladies are not strong enough is an illusion that I may have created but my plan is still in full force. I'm coming for you guys. The team that we have right now, we're well prepared, we're all working towards our strengths. I think that I'm particularly doing well by getting the best out of my team. I think I'm on track to win it. I think I'm positioning myself one or two at this stage. Um, there's a couple of other guys that got a bit of catching up to do. I can't let the ball slip. Um, I need to remain focused. I need to put in three massive performances. And if I can do that, I'm going to give myself a really good chance that come the day they announce the winner, I want, to, I want to be sitting there thinking that there's a very, very good chance that my name is going to be called out. I've evaluated all the contestants, all six of them, and I've positioned them, and I know who to watch out for, I know who's a bit behind, and I know who's up there. The three that I, I think that are struggling a bit would be Unati, Karabu, and Selena. And I think the three front runners right now is Alicia, myself, Andre. So we basically like, if I can, if you don't mind me using a comparison of the Tour de France, the last three stages, we're at the front peloton. I'm here to win this thing. And I think, as mentioned on the first day, I'm growing with confidence. I'm learning what the judges are asking for, what they need. And if I do all of that correctly and I deliver, I really, really have a good chance of winning this competition. I'm now in the final six, and I'm now yet to win the competition. It's not about a team effort anymore, despite um, wanting, to the win, wanting to win all the tasks. And that does put you in good stead um, to win the competition ultimately. Come inside. Welcome back, apprentices. I um, would like now to hand over to you to impress us with what you have come up with. Remember first, five minute uh, high level presentation and then you go into the detail after that. Thank you. Thank you judges. Feasibility studies have suggested that this product could potentially make a gross profit of 29 million rand. This excludes operating expenses. Pertinent to target markets, it's an estimated 2.5 million rand. And this is small informal businesses. That's untapped potential. Education is one of our core values. And we empower and impact knowledge to the previously disadvantaged. Our premium regarding our rating tool is the average premium policy of 7 rand 50 per month. Our marketing idea would stem from roadshows that will be held in the various communities, as well as foot soldiers that will carry out building relationships, building trusts. Distribution channel, this will be done via retail wholesalers with money market facilities, again using foot soldiers, as well as a USSD line. Our cover includes the following, relocation cost, property damage, business interruption, medical, trauma counseling, as well as motor. Pertinent to job creation, which is one of our passions, we would implement a call center that will deal with service as well as claims, and again, touching back on the point of foot soldiers. This concludes the executive summary, and I will now hand you over to Chris. So if I can just quickly run through some of the sections. Some of the sections are already available in the current insurance market, but we also found that there is a gap in the market and therefore decided that this will be beneficial to our potential clients. If I can just run through them quickly, um, our first type of cover would be property damage. This would include a cover for uh, damage to buildings as well as uh, damage to stock during attacks. Uh, we're also including an element of business interruption. 
uh, and we're obviously going to cap this limit. As far as the business interruption is concerned, are you going to expand on that? So basically, uh, as, as mentioned, we'd like to put a cap um, on that particular cover. And that's obviously going to be capped at about 250,000 rand based on the type of um, businesses we are working with. What, so, what is the detail of the cover? All right, so there's a gross profit. So that's obviously the format I think you guys are looking for. So basically, it'll be obviously a loss of cost of sales. Take it back to the point you made about the feasibility study. Okay. What exactly did you look at? We uh, basically went to stats and say we wanted to find out what is the potential market out there in terms of our potential clients. We found out that there's two and a half million. Uh, informal type of spaza shops. If there was an uptake of 20%, all right, and we worked at an average premium of 90 rand annual premium, which is very little, which is only 750 a month, it sounds really cheap, but that's basically what we're offering. We believe that this uh, product can work and can be profitable. Judges, I'll be touching on distribution channel and marketing, and the medium that we selected to choose, which would be the shop right and the use state stores or the wholesalers, primarily for premium collection. Why? Because those stores are where the um, rural areas are closest to wholesalers. But you're talking about commercial clients here. We, but within the area that we're speaking about, about, it would be closest to basically operate with a using or wholesaler store. I think that's the more, most practical for a spaza shop owner. I would say, given the location, that it would be the most um, opted one on, on our list that we have made. Okay. Just to touch a bit on the job creation, um, we intend to open a claims and queries uh, call center which will be toll free. Um, we are also looking at um, employing foot soldiers from, from, these, um, from these areas as well so that, so that they, from the areas that they plan to target which, we, which would assist with the language, you know, with, with the language barrier as well. Uh, I'm not really clear on how you're going to launch it into the market. Okay, we plan to do uh, road shows as well where we'd have a Sazer going out to the various areas doing roadshows and explaining the new product that's on offer and what, what the cover entails. I don't think it's practical. You're talking food soldiers countrywide. That is correct. And you're talking policy holders countrywide. That is correct. So weddings to be printed. That is correct. You're talking telephone lines. Yes. You're talking human bodies. Yes. You're talking office furniture. Um, help me understand how, how you're really going to roll this out to you this target audience that does not believe in insurance. Mm -hmm. Although there's a need, but these people generally do not believe in insurance. So how are you going to get people to, to take on the cover? Well, from the previous activities that went around and, and what our country has also faced with xenophobic attacks, I think there's a concern and a fear. But we're not going to be selling on emotion, but however we will highlight that. But implementing foot soldiers, building that relationship with them, with the people, because they will come from the communities itself. And we will be building back into the communities, i.e. giving back. So it's a win-win situation. Practices, uh, we'll see each other when we actually provide you feedback a little bit later. In the meantime, you're welcome to go.